Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to left shift numbers in a list in C++. Now first, I want to point out this website right here at yolinux.com. It's got uh, lots of stuff on C++, good documentation. It's got a web uh, page right here on the standard lib. Um, <clears throat> that talks about you know vectors and lists and stuff and uh, and uh, the uh, methods they have and, the, and just about what you can do with them and so this is a great place to go for reference material and I highly uh, recommend it um, it is it says yo Linux so um, it's it's Linux oriented however if you stick with the STL uh, library you should have no problems using this on any machine that supports uh, C++ or any compiler that supports a full C++. So, let me show you a demo project that I put together. Uh, here it is, I'm using Visual Studio 2010. And what I'm doing is I've declared a list, an integer list type. It's a generic um, or a template. I tell it it's a list, it's going to be an integer type, and I call it my list. And then I also create an iterator that I'll use later to walk through the list. Um, and then I have an integer here that's just my integer. So now that I've, I've uh, declared the list, um, and it, it's there ready to be used, and so I'm going to initialize it. What I'm using is the push back method. And what this does is it pushes a number, an integer, onto the back of my list. So I went 0, 1, 2, 3 on there. And then I have a just a quick little loop to print it out, so you can see, um, so you can see what's in the list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do just a left shift. I'm going to do a a left rotate. I'm going to shift the list to the left by one, and then whatever comes off the front, I'm going to pop it off and stuff it back on the back or push it on the back, so that I can show not only uh, shifting but also rotating, which is a useful. Uh, Thing to be able to do. So if you see right here, the pattern is I get my int, I get whatever's off the front of the list, and then I pop the front, and that just pulls off whatever is on the front of the list and, and discards it. Pop front is a void, um, is a, a, a method that returns void. So you can't pop and get the integer at once. You have to do these two operations. And then what I do is I take whatever I got off the front, push it on the back. So I just did a rotate. Um, and so then I'm going to have that be shown in a list here, we'll, or uh, this loop here will show you what I did. And I'll do it again just for illustration purposes. And then I'm going to do a right rotate. And I'm going to take off the, I'm going to pull off the back of the list, and then I'm going to pop off the back and then push it onto the front. So you can get to see it rotating in the other direction. Um, so it's really pretty simple. Um, and uh, let's uh, just run it so you can see what it does. There it goes. You can see right here, I initialized my list. And then I, the first thing I did was I rotated it left, took the zero off, put it on the back. Then I rotated left one more time, took the one off, and put it on the back. And then I rotated it to the right. I pulled the one off and put it on the front again. So that is how you do it. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today I showed you how to left shift numbers in a list in C++. Thanks for watching.